Hi everyone, I understand it's been a long time, but today I wanted to do something different. I am going to tell a story, and I intend for this to calm you down, make you feel better. Maybe it is currently bedtime and you just want to hear a story. This is not my story. It is a story I found and the link to this website will be in the description box below in case you may want to read other stories. The particular title of this story is called Heaven and Earth Takes Shape. Odin and his brothers now had work to do. Painfully, they dragged the great bulk of Ymir into the bottomless space of ice. And from it, they built the earth, the sea, and the heavens. Nothing of his body went to waste. His blood made the great ocean, the rivers, the lakes, and the springs. His bones became mountains. His teeth and broken bones made sands and pebbles. From his skull, they fashioned the arch of heaven, which they set up over the earth and sea. His brain became the heavy clouds. His hair sprouted into trees, grass, plants, and flowers. And last of all, the gods set his bristling eyebrows as a high fence around the earth to keep the giants away from the race of men whom they had planned to create for this pleasant globe. So the earth was made, they say. And next, the gods brought light for the heavens. They caught sparks and cinders blown from the world of heat and set them here and there above and below, as sun and moon and stars. To each they gave its name and told its duties where to be and how it must perform day after day and year after year and century after century till the ending of all things, so that the children of men might reckon time without mistake. Sol and Mani, who drove the bright chariots of the sun and moon across the sky, were a fair sister and brother whose father named them Sun and Moon because they were so beautiful. So Odin gave them each a pair of swift, bright horses to drive and set them in the sky forever. Once a time, but that was many, many years later, Mani, a man in the moon, stole two children from the earth. Hiyuki and Bill were going to a well to draw a pail of water. The little boy and girl carried a pole and a bucket across their shoulders and looked so pretty that Mani thrust down 
a long arm and snatch them up to his moon. And there they are to this day, as you can see on any moonlight night, two little black shadows on the moon's bright face, the boy and the girl with the bucket between them. Thank you so much for listening to this little story. May your life be as your personality. Until next time.